Hello and welcome to Barbershop Book Storytime. Today we're reading No David. This is one of my favorite, I mean, favorite children's books. Um, so let's just take a look at today's book cover. So if you look closely, what is David doing? First of all, do you see that he's on a stack? He's on a stack of books on his tippy toes. Now, is that safe to climb up on top of books? And look what David is doing. He's actually pushing or holding a big goldfish bowl, like a fish bowl, and it's full of fish. That does not look safe to me. Well, this story is called No David, and it has an exclamation point. Do you see the exclamation point right here? That means that someone is saying it with emphasis, like maybe they're screaming or they're just speaking kind of loudly, like, No, David! And so I think you all maybe get an idea of what this book is going to be like. So let's find out why this book is called No, David. Love this book. So cool. Look at this, this page. Look, there's a woman and her hands are on her hips. Is that something you do when you're happy or excited? Did you see what, what the lady did with her hands? She had her hands like this. You know what? I think that that may be David's mom. And I think that maybe she is not happy. Oh my goodness. You all are not going to believe this. Look at what is happening. It says... David's mom always said, no, David. And look what David is doing. He's drawing on the wall with crayons. Look at this. Are you supposed to draw on the wall with crayons? No, never. I hope that it comes off. But look what he made. He drew stars. It looks like he even traced his hand. Do you see it? It's right here. And he even played tic-tac-toe. Ooh, somebody got three in a row. This story is called No David. And remember, it has an exclamation point. So that means that someone saying, with, saying it with emphasis. They're like, no, David. Can you try that? Okay, I'm going to count to three. And when I count to three, I want you to scream, no, David, as loud as you possibly can. Well, it depends. If someone's sleeping, well, you have to not say it super duper loud. But if no one's sleeping, you can scream it with me on three. One, two, three. No, David! Okay, okay, okay. Let's get into the story. No, David! And look what he's doing now. Instead of him reaching for a fishbowl this time, it looks like he's reaching for... Well, I see O-O-K-I-E-S. Ookies. Ookies? No. Maybe... Oh, I know. Maybe that's a cookie jar and the C is missing. I can't see the C, but I think there may be cookies in there. And look at the other stuff that's on the on this shelf on the shelves. I see a tea set. Do you see the tea set right here? I also see sugar and flour. Now how do I know that this says sugar and this says flour? Well, some of the letters are missing, but guess what? They, these look like containers that you could put sugar and flour into. And I see enough of the words that I can guess about what's inside. 
What else do you see on the shelf? Do you see a cat? It's right here. It's not a real cat. It looks like it's maybe made out of glass or something like that. I also see a toaster. Do you see the toaster? It's right here. There it is. And look at David. Is he being safe? He's on the edge of a chair. If he falls down, he could get hurt. I think that David should probably ask his parents or someone, an adult, for the cookies. Because I don't even know if he has permission to get cookies. I hope none of you ever take cookies without permission. Oh my goodness. You all are not going to believe what David is up to. Do you want to see? Okay. Let's just start here. What do you see on this page? Do you see this dirt on the carpet? Well, guess what? There's more. And guess who is tracking all of this mud in the house? It's David. And look what his, look what his mom says. No, David, no. Because look, he's tracking mud all through the house. <laughs> he even has, he even has stuff growing out of him like look at this it's like little leaves and little little leaves and stuff do you see him they're like poking out he even has it on his head can you believe it look a mushroom it almost looks like it's growing out of his head he has dirt everywhere now <clears throat> i have a question for you how would your mom or someone else, an adult feel, if you walked in the house and you had mud all over you and you walked mud all through the house. My mom, she would not be happy. Wow, I wonder what's gonna happen next. No, no, no! Oh my, you're not going to believe this. Look what's happening. Do you see this? The water is running over the side of the tub. And look, water's all over the floor. Do you see this? There's water everywhere. And guess who did it? David. But look at all the cool toys he has while he's in the tub. Let's see if we can name some of the different toys. Um, does anyone see the colorful lifesaver? It's right here. Bloop. Does anyone see the yellow rubber ducky? Mm, I think you see it. It's right here. What about the shark? Well, guess what? David's holding the shark. It's right here. Bloop. Does anyone see anything else in this picture that I'm leaving out? Oh, wait. What in the world is this? I don't even know. It looks like... It kind of looks like one of those old water mimes like it would float in the water um, and try and um, wreck a battleship if a battleship bumped into it but really I'm not sure what that little thing is but it looks cool did I get everything you know what I forgot one thing do you see it it's on top of David's head it's a special kind of hat not just any ordinary type of hat. He's wearing a pirate hat. Arr, matey. Okay, maybe I wouldn't make a good pirate. I don't know. What do you think? <laughs> oh, wait. 
we're also forgetting what he's wearing. Do you see that thing on his face? He has like a, a, a tool for snorkeling. And then, do you see it? He has on swimming goggles. Or maybe they're called snorkeling goggles. I'm not sure. But it allows him to go underwater and still breathe at the same time. Isn't that so cool? All right, everybody. If you are just tuning in, we are reading a story super fun called No, David. And it's about a little boy named David who, well, let's just say David, he gets into kind of like a lot of trouble. So let's see what happens next. We just learned that David is letting water overflow in the tub and the water's going all over the floor. Wait a minute. What is that on the floor? I think it's an octopus. It's an octopus. All right, let's see what happened. Oh my goodness. David was in the tub. You are not going to believe what happens next. Look what he does. He runs down the street. Where are his clothes? Oh my goodness. His mom said, come back here, David. Like that. Oh my goodness. He's going to get into so much trouble. Oh my goodness. Where are his clothes? That's crazy. And his mom was screaming, come back here, David. And you can tell that she was probably screaming because look, you can see the exclamation point. That lets us know, hey, they're probably saying the word with emphasis. Okay, let's see what happens next. What is David up to? David, look. He, be quiet. And look what David is doing. He has a large metal spoon. He has something on his head. What do you think that thing is? Oh, it looks like maybe it's a pot. You know why I think it's a pot? Because I see a handle and then I kind of see something that looks like a pot. So it looks like he's wearing a pot. He has a metal spoon and he has a metal frying pan. And it looks like he's beating on it like a drum. Would that make a loud noise? If you beat on a metal pot or a metal pan with a metal spoon, well, it would make a clink sound and it would be super duper loud. So I think I understand why his mom is saying, David, be quiet. And you can tell that she's probably yelling it because guess what? I see an excla exclamation point here and I see another exclamation point here. And what does it mean if you see an exclamation point? That means that someone is saying something with emphasis. That means they're saying it loud or strong. Let's see what else David is up to. Don't play with your food. And look, David is playing with his food. What kind of food does is he playing with? Well, I see two drumsticks. You can count with me. One, two. I also see some green beans and a potato. And he's holding it all together with a fork. I know that we're reading a story, but I have a question. Can we count the green beans? Because sometimes when a book is really cool and it has lots of cool stuff, I like to count. So I hope it's okay. If you want, you can count all the green beans with me. Let's start over here. I see one green bean. Two green beans, three green beans. Let's keep counting. I see four green beans, five, six, seven. 
There are seven green beans on this page. That's so cool. Wait a minute. And there's a little piece of broccoli right there. One piece all by itself. I hope that you do not play with your food like David. Because you are not supposed to play with your food. You're supposed to do what? Eat it. <laughs> okay, don't eat it like that. You have to eat it very calm. But you shouldn't play with your food. Let's see what else David is up to. That's enough, David! You're not... Okay, I'm just going to show you. Look what David is doing. He's showing his food. Gross! No one wants to see your food in your mouth. And that's exactly what David is doing. Do you see it? Ew! But there's a lot of cool stuff in there. Let's see. I see... I see a drumstick. Do you see it? Bam! I even see a lima bean. Do you see the lima bean? It's right here. Is there anything else you see? What about a carrot? Do you see the carrot? I see one right here. I see green beans. One, two, three, four, five. Cool. And another piece of broccoli right there. There's some other stuff. These are his teeth. Do you see David's teeth? Let's see if we can count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. He only has nine teeth. I think you're supposed to have more than nine teeth. But I don't know. Okay. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I see something really cool. I know it's gross to be looking in David's mouth, but there's a lot of cool stuff. Look, right here, there's a blueberry. Just one, one blueberry. Do you all see how gross, gross this is? But it's also kind of cool. Okay, let's see what else David is up to. Go to your room. David has to go to his room and he does not look happy. Look at his face. I'm going to come really close so you can see it. Do you see his face? He kind of looks sad, but also kind of mad or angry. And he has his blanket with him. Oh, I think I may understand why he's so angry. Look what's on the television. It looks like there's a superhero cartoon, but he has to go to his room. Someone thinks that he's grumpy. And you know what? I think he probably feels a little grumpy. Let's see what happens when he gets to his bedroom. Do you think that when he gets to his bedroom, he's just going to relax and maybe take a nap? Let's see what happens. Settle down! And look! Does it look like David is taking a nap? No! He's jumping on the bed. Do you see this? He's jumping all over his bed. And look what he's wearing. It looks like he's wearing a cowboy outfit. He has on cowboy boots. And then he has on this cool, these cool pajamas with stars on them. And he even has a cape. Wow, he has a cape. Do you see it? It's yellow. It's flowing behind him while he's jumping. And he even has a mask. A blue mask. Do you see it? Why would he wear a mask? Well, sometimes superheroes wear masks to conceal their identity. 
That means to hide their identity, so like who they are, so no one will know. Because when they're wearing the mask, people don't know who it is. So maybe David plans to go out and fight crime. Well, I don't think he's going to be able to do it um, if uh, he has to stay in his room. Because remember, his mom said, go to your room. Um, what else is on this page that you see? I see a lot of cool things on his, uh, on his um, bed. Do you see his comforter or his sheet? It has airplanes and it even has different types of airplanes. Some are green, some are gray. There are even some that are big and white. That's really cool. Do you like airplanes? I like airplanes. Let's see what David is up to next. Stop that this instant. Oh my goodness. I don't know if I can even show you this. It's so gross. Okay, I'll show it to you, but only for a little bit. Look what David is doing. Do you see what he's doing? He's digging in his nose. And it looks like he's sticking his finger way up his nose. And his mother said, stop that this instant. That is so gross. Ew. I hope that you and you and you do not stick your fingers up your nose. Nope, I'm not doing it. Let's see what else David is up to. Put your toys away. David has all of his toys out. And guess what? I don't even think we have enough time to figure out all the different types of toys that David has out. I see something that looks like a keyboard for a piano. Do you see it? It's right here. I see a clown on top of his TV. I see a spaceship. He's watching maybe a movie about outer space. And look at the floor. There's stuff everywhere. There's a football. There's a checkerboard. What do you see? I see a purple dinosaur. A race car. Let's see what else. I see a little toy horse. I see crayons. I even see a, con a, a truck, a construction vehicle to help move dirt and other types of large stuff. I see a Viking hat. It has horns on it. That's how I know it's a Viking hat. I see a red wheelbarrow. And guess what's inside? A teddy bear and a frisbee. I see a green ball. Do you see the green ball? It's right here. Bloop. I see a baseball bat and a baseball. Now, there's something you may have never heard of that I see, but I'm going to tell you a secret. You may never see one in the store, but it's called an Etch-A-Sketch. It's right here. And it's so cool because if you shake it, then it becomes clear. But then you can move these little dials, these little knobs, and it'll draw a picture. And it's so cool. Okay, 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 okay. How long do you think it will take David to put away all his toys in his room? How long do you think it will take to put away all these toys? Maybe that's the living room. Do you think it will take five minutes? Do you think it will take 10 minutes? Do you think it will take 15 minutes? What about 20 minutes or 25 minutes? Okay, what about a whole hour? Oh, someone thinks it's gonna take eight minutes. Let's take a look. Look at all this stuff. I think, I think it may take David a whole hour to clean his room. Because he has, he has so much stuff everywhere. Let's see what happens next. Not in the, not 
in the house, David. And look what David is doing. He's playing baseball in the house. He even has on a special mask to protect your face when you're catching the ball so that the ball doesn't accidentally hit you in the face and hurt you. Are you supposed to play baseball in the house? And look at all these different things in the house that could get broken. There's this big flower vase. There's this clock with a glass dome over it. And there's this big grandfather clock. And I think that it has a glass glass right here on the front. What do you think is going to happen if David throws the ball and hits the ball in the house? Oh, man. I don't think that that is safe at all to play baseball in the house. I never play baseball in the house. Do you play baseball in the house? I hope not. It's not safe. You could hurt yourself or you could maybe accidentally hit something with the bat or with the ball. Uh-oh. I said no, David. Look what happened. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. The big flower glass, the big flower vase. It's broken into tons of pieces. And look, you see the ball? I think the ball hit it and broke it. And look, David is sad. I think I see a tear. Do you see the tear? It's right here. I think that David had to go to timeout. Maybe his mom made him go to timeout to think about how to be more safe in the house. David, I think he feels really sad because if you have to go to time out to think about your behavior, then it can make you really sad. And so I think, I think that's how David feels. He got into a little trouble because he wasn't being safe. Oh, Davy. Come here. Oh, his mom saw that he was really sad. And even though he was in trouble, she told him to come here when it was time for him to leave time out. And look, he raised both his arms. Why do you think he put his arms out like this? Why do you think? Do you think that David wants to give his mom a big hug? If I was in timeout and then my mom said that I could leave timeout and um, I would be very, very happy. But you know something that's interesting? I noticed that his, that his mom changed his name when she called him. She said Davy instead of David. I have a question for you. Do you have a nickname that someone calls you? Like maybe your mom or your dad or even just your brothers and sisters or your friends? Do you have a special name? So his mom calls him Davy, And so maybe that's his nickname. Do you want to know a secret? I have a nickname that my sister and my nephew and my niece, they call me. So my name is Alvin, but they call me Alvy. Kind of like Davy. Except instead of Alvin, they say, Alvy. Hey, Uncle Alvy. Just like that. Well, let's see what else his mom says. Yes, David, I love you. Oh, look. Yes, David, I love you. And so even though David was not being safe and playing baseball in the house. And even though he broke a vase and even though he was chewing with his mouth open and even though he was playing with his food, no matter what, his mom still loves him. 
Well, that's the end of today's story. It's called No David. Thank you all so much for listening to the story. I had so much fun because this is like my most favorite book ever. If you want to learn more about Barbershop Books and how you can donate or support, please visit our website, barbershopbooks.org. Wait, 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 wait. Barbershopbooks.org. Bye. <laughs>